Hello, hello everyone. Sarah here. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, today I have the Spellbinders August 2021 card kit. These are my 10 cards that I have created using this kit. And I'm definitely happy to show you the fun creations that you can create with this. So I've already started with card number one. And this one will be a fairly simple one. I'm going to be using some of that pattern paper with the cute numbers, adding some gold trim, and I'm gonna put this right in the center of the card. I found that this kit was definitely a little bit more challenging than the other ones that I've worked with. They were lots and lots of small pieces, and it was challenging. I, I, I love to use the bigger pieces of ephemera, or die cut, sorry. Um, this one definitely took a little bit more time to try to figure out how to use all these small pieces. For this card, I I love this little easel with the rainbow that's really adorable and it kind of made me think of preschool learning and such and that's why I put it with the letters background pattern or the pattern paper with the letters on it. It just felt like a school type setting. Of course, owls are usually dic dictated or dic dictated or <laughs> <laughs> they're usually imagined as being wise so let's put that's why I put the owl there kind of like a little school teacher uh, teaching some art and learning lessons in this card kit there are a bunch of small pieces like I said and some of them spill out the words create they kind of look like chemistry um, oh was it the periodic table kind of look like that little style uh, and they just spill out create you can uh, you get two of each of these letters, so you can do this twice. I think they're kind of cute. I love how they come with the different colors. They kind of match the rainbow and just uh, ties it all together to make this really simple yet adorable little card that you can give out just because. You can give it to a teacher, uh, first day of school. I guess it's already started, but you could definitely do that. It's never too late. And once I put that down, I will pull out... Oops. <laughs> when I put this down, I will pull out some... Of the res sequence that come in this kit. I believe this is the only time I actually use them. They're very beautiful, um, but just never, they just didn't seem to fit the rest of my cards. I do like to try to use them uh, because they do add, they do just pile up on my, my room, my craft room. They, I have so many sequins now, but I will maybe make a shaker card one of these days. I, I did actually create one on my Simon Says but maybe I'll make some more. And that's card number one. Card number two, I am going to create a scene card. Now, once again, there are a lot of small pieces in this card kit. So when I'm making cards, this is Spellbinders, I, I like the bigger ephemera, and I like using the small pieces kind of as filler, but there are not a lot of big pieces. So I had to get creative and um, in this kit, there are some floating heads, and I didn't know how to use them. I really didn't. I, I thought about it, and then it popped in my head some childlike drawings. It just it popped in my head, and so I start playing with the ephemera to see if I can create bodies for the heads, and that's what I'm going to do. And you'll see, you can kind of see the pieces there on the, the left, what I'm going to do, but... I'm going to take those heads, uh, there's three of them, two are going to be students and one's going to be a teacher or an adult. I'm going to glue them to these little banners and then trim off the top so it looks like a little body. For these two little girls, there are, um, I think it's a little golden flower, so it makes a cute little dress for these little children. And then for the adult, the only other one that looked right was the pink one that says make. I did try to find like, something else that I could cover it to make it look like a, a, a robe or a dress or something, but there was nothing else I could use. So this lady is going to be wearing a dress that says make on it. <laughs> One thing that I wanted to try this kit was using some distressed ink. Uh, this is a uh, vintage photo. There is someone I watch, I think her YouTube channel is called Included Thank You by Desiree. She uses vintage photo on a lot of her ephemera and I wanted to give it a try. I was actually pretty happy with it. I've done it before but I wanted to do it again just to get in the habit of it. So this is going to be a scene card. I have 
a school bus in the background, some trees, and now I'm going to take that nice smiley sun or smiley face, and I'm going to add some rays to the back, just cutting up some of that yellow cardstock that came in the kit to create some uh, rays. And I'm just going to add a little bit of dot of, or a little dot of glue and stack up these little rays of light, you can call, you can say. Add a little bit of vintage photo. And, and when you stack them up like that, you don't need to really worry about adding foam squares to it. I will, but you don't need to because it already kind of pushes itself up from the card. So if you wanted a little bit of height, but you didn't want to be too much so you can mail it without costing extra, just leaving it how I had it would have been perfectly fine and you get a little bit of depth off the paper. Now I'm just going to start placing down all the pieces and I'm going to have the little girl, one of them, glued down and then I'll prop up the other one just to give it some separation so that it looks like she's in front. It's not just glued down. The, sh the shadow that's going to cast will give this an another illusion of depth. To make it so that the teacher looks like she's on the same or kind of around the same area as the first, the front student, I'm going to prop her up as well to give the same effect. And then she'll be covering the bus to really make it show like that bus is in the background. That's why it's so small. I'm not going to add any more bells and whistles. I really like how this one's turned out. I really like these little scene cards that you can create just using your imagination. For card number three, I'm going to use that vintage photo again. I created uh, the, what are they called? Paint palettes. It's one of the die sets that come in this card kit and you do need to cut out a lot of pieces because each one of those colors needs to be, well, essentially you got to cut out in each one of these colors. The base of it is from my stash. It's just uh, a piece of cardstock that I got from Michael's in the recollection. I think it's the, the Browns and Creams collection and that is one of the the pieces and I like using that one for a lot of my fillers and especially this paint palette it was perfect. I really like these this pencil crayon or I think they're pencils with little sayings on them. It is upside down. I'm not sure if I fixed it yet. I, I removed it from the, the feed because I don't think we need to see that. I make mistakes here and there all the time so I just I removed that but and fixed it. And then I'm just going to take a piece of uh, pattern paper. I believe it's the same one that I used in the previous card. It was a scrap left over and I ripped it on the bottom. I think it kind of gets covered when I'm all done, but you know, it's just fun. Give it a try. It does add a little bit of texture and it is it can really make something look a lot different. If you don't have clean cuts, you just rip some paper. The white just looks really nice. I love the sentiment, never grow up. It works really well with that palette. And of course, then I added some little ephemeras here, the butterfly and the light bulb. I put the light bulb in at first because it made me think of genius, smart ideas. And then I added the butterfly because I think butterflies are usually attracted to light and like moths. And then I added some hearts on there and that just tied it all together. And I'm very happy with that, how that turned out, really cute. Is this card number five? I lost track. Uh, I missed it. <laughs> I was dug, I missed it. Regardless, I am going to make another scene card. This one is a little more abstract. It, you have to use your little ma imagination a little bit more on this one. As I was using it and I was putting the papers down, it kind of made me think of like um, uh, a curtain, a curtain across a stage. There is no stage in the scene, but it kind of made me think of that. Maybe it's behind, or maybe it's being prepared for the stage, but it does look like a red curtain with the, the rod on the top. So that's kind of where I was going with, and I'm going to use these ephemeral ladies, and I'm just showing you that I use my um, craft knife to cut a piece of her hand away, and I'll show you why I'm doing that a little later, just in a second. The sentiment I decide to use is do your, th do your thing, is that what it says? It's a nice little sentiment. Do your thing. I like that. Or do your thing. You know, you could you could say it with a little attitude if you want. And I use these two little ladies. They're really cute. I love how they're just uh, in their little dresses and just standing there having fun. Just in this room with the stage. And the stapler is just for just added color. 
doesn't mean anything, except I will be adding some other little school supplies in there as well. Okay, so here is where lifting the hand works. I'm going to take one of these paint brushes that I created off camera, and it's using the paint dies, sorry, the paint brushes die that came in the kit. And I'm just going to tuck it under her arm so it looks like she's holding this ginormous paintbrush and it's painting the sign saying do your thing. Um, I did cut them all in different colors but I used the yellow one because of it's, it's very close to the letter H which is yellow in the picture. I'm going to glue this other lady down with her red hair and I'm going to add some little I think they're binder clips and just add some of that just I have so many small pieces I need to figure out what to do with them so I just added them on the floor as if they were going to use them for something something planned is is happening behind that that red curtain I am going to look at some of these puffy stickers once again all the puffy stickers are so small but I wanted to use them up and I just want to add a little bit of um, or just one thing I think it is, just that little love sticker. I think that's so cute. I love these puffy stickers. I just wish I could use them. Um, it was really challenging for me to figure out how to, to add them to the kit because I was already having such a hard time with all the itty bitty little pieces in the die set, like die cuts. If you don't have the kit, you wouldn't believe me how many small pieces there are. I would recommend looking at people's revealings of the dies and you'll see they are so many small pieces of random things that are actually really hard to work with um, so having puppy stickers that do the same thing just added a little more challenge because you couldn't use those either if you can't use the small die you, it's hard to use the puppy stickers Okay, so now I'm just gluing down some of these gold circles. You know that's what I like to do, just adding a bunch of different sizes and gluing them down. Just the same paper as the bar on the top. And I really like how that turned out. It's such fun. I really, really like making scene cards with these Spellbinder kits, and I love it when I can use my imagination to really create something that is not expected. Um, when I say expected, my expected would always be like, grass and sky like my first one that's expected that's I'm going to probably do that in every single video just because it's so easy anyways here's um, an interesting pattern paper for some reason I love this piece and if you actually look at it it's just pencil shavings on blue background <laughs> it's it's kind of ridiculously silly um, but I just love it it just has this weird love feel to it for me Maybe it's just the blue color. So I'm going to use that. It's not going to have any relevance other than it's a school background. I'm going to create kind of like a Polaroid picture frame of like, um, let's say, teachers taking a picture of the first day. They're just saying, yay, we're back. We're back in class. Here's our first day with my, my friends, and we're going to take a picture. Um, and that's kind of what this one's inspired about. And, so what I did was I took one of the frame dies and I put a piece of pattern paper behind it so that there's like a backdrop. And then I'm just going to glue all those heads on. And that's a nice way of using these heads as well without having the need of bodies. Just adding a little bit of vintage photo, not too much, just really slightly adding it. I did add some double side tape to this, but you'll see that I add some foam tape afterwards because I hold it there for a second and realize I, I kind of want to lift it. Otherwise, that white frame gets hidden on the background. It's just too white and too, and the blue is too bright. To finish off, I'm going to add some school supplies. Of course, the mug. <laughs> the mug with teachers, I guess. That's just what every teacher has, right? With some supplies in it. I'm going to add the ruler and some glue. Like I said, just trying to use all these small pieces. I think that's so cute. I love that one a lot. For this cart, I actually forgot to bring in my blue matte layer. So you don't see in the picture, I actually forgot to add it, but it was supposed to be there. Um, just to separate this pattern paper with the, I, I, I just, it looks really good with that dark navy blue that came in the kit, um, but it's still fine. 
I'll give you a little reason for this card. The sentiment here says something about this is where all the, what does it say if I hold slowly, this is where all the fun things are, or something along that line. You'll, you'll see in a second. The, the light's a little too bright. And so I really like that sentiment. It's really cute. So when I found it, I went through all the die pieces that I have, and I wanted to find the things where all the cool things were. Is that what it says? Where all the fun stuff happens. There we go. Where all the fun stuff happens. So I wanted to have all the die pieces that kind of gave the fun. Like there's the cassette tape. No one has cassette tapes anymore. There's a cheetah or leopard riding a skateboard. Some flowers. Um, that's kind of how I wanted this card to go. And um, there's no real rhythm to it. It's just just having fun. And so I did notice that it was kind of getting hidden in the background. So I did add that pink. Uh, tag just to separate my my cheetah skateboard flower and all that from the background But yeah, that's that's the gist of it. It's just looking through all the pieces seeing what Where all this fun stuff is happening and then gluing it all down on the bottom there, and then you just have Just your sentiment there in the middle saying it it is a little bit of a busy card especially with that background but I like I actually like how it turned out it does look a tad better with that blue um, mat, if I had brought it in. Um, I'm not sure what happened. I had it and then all of a sudden it <laughs> disappeared and that's why I didn't use it. But it actually did tie it a lot better. So if I have, I do have doubles of everything so I could technically make it again and I would definitely add that blue. Trying to use those puffy stickers, I decided to pull out some fun pair of scissors. Because, why? Because scissors is, are also where the fun stuff happens. Can't cut paper without a pair of scissors, unless you have a paper trimmer, of course, or a guillotine trimmer, or a knife, or a scale. Uh, okay, there's other things you can do to cut paper, but <laughs> scissors are definitely one of them. And then I'm just going to add some of those little heart puffy stickers. It's fun. I like this card. It's cute. Okay, moving along really quickly. Just fast, fast, fast. We are now on card number seven. I decided to take a nice plain background um, pattern paper, and it's with the blacks, black pluses, I believe it is. And there, the reason for that is because I am now going to go through all the small little pieces, and I'm going to create my own background. Using, I'm going to create my own background by enhancing this background. So what I did was I took that sentiment and I added it to a piece of yellow because I will be matting the whole thing on yellow. And then I put some of that foam tape on it so I have it propped up so that while I'm laying all these different school supplies down, I know how it's going to look with the sentiment raised. And pretty much I just want to fill in as much of the gaps as, much as possible so that there's not any large gaps. And I just filled it with all the small little pieces that would fit. So there's a coffee cup, just a couple pencils in there, backpack, glue gun, there's that eraser, paper clips, washi tapes, and some hearts. A bunch of just random, random pieces. I'm going to skip all of it. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. I'm just taking the vintage photo around it and then gluing it down. And I'm going to do this whole thing. Fast forwarding it now, and it's all done there. So I'm just going to trim off any piece that's hanging. I highly, 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 highly recommend doing this because it makes your background look complete. If you fit everything in the center and you leave a border, it will look very obvious that you were just putting things there. Always try putting off the edge, even if it's just the tiniest little bit, it will create a better result, almost guaranteed. Not always, but almost. Just trust me on that. <laughs> That's the one piece of advice I could give. I am going to glue this down to the piece of yellow cardstock in this kit. I did not cut out the center. I realized that I probably won't be using much of this yellow cardstock, so I will just use it the whole thing and not fill it in. And then I'm going to prop this, this up. I did try to see if I could put some red sequins on it, but I decided just to keep it the way it was. Okay, card number eight, don't blink. This is going by very fast. I will probably still talking this sentence and this video will be over 
<laughs> before I'm done. I absolutely love this pattern paper and I wanted to make it the feature of the card without too much taking away for it. That means not too many die pieces. In fact, I didn't use any die pieces on this card, just a piece of chipboard. I love, love, love this pattern paper. It looks awesome. And so I took a piece of gold cardstock, I matted it, and then I add that sentiment chipboard sticker that says, thank you for your kindness. That's it. That is so beautiful. I love it. You will see it again in the end, but um, it is awesome. I love simple cards that turn out amazing. So card number nine, once again, this is a scene card. And I took another piece of gold cardstock that comes from the kit. This, I'm, you notice I'm not actually cutting out the centers anymore. Uh, this is because I didn't use up my gold cardstock from the last three kits. So I'm just going to move fast forward on this one and not wait and not uh, cut anything out. So if you have little of this, do cut it out because this stuff is, is gold. It literally is gold color, <laughs> but it's awesome. It works so well with die cutting that you really shouldn't waste it uh, unless you have lots, lots of it. So I did cut a, a, a rectangle with the blue cardstock. I added a piece of green, which is going to be the grass, and a, from a pattern paper and glued that to the bottom. And now I'm going to glue this whole thing into the center of the card, trying to make it equal on the top and bottom um, and sides to sides. So pretty much what this is going to be is a, a, t a midnight or a night sky or a night a night scene. Let's put it that way. I did take this little die cut um, called Brave. I think that's so cute. Um, we all need to, to be brave in our own ways. And um, I don't need to explain what that means. If you feel it, you know what I mean. Um, so but it's just such a cute little sentiment and it matched this little purple planet, pink planet, so well. I love that. And so I have it propped up in the counter. It's smiling onto this girl who's just strolling in the night, enjoying the evening. Um, just just imagine the warm, crisp, not warm, not warm, crisp, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> imagine um, just that perfect evening where it's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's just perfect. The air is crisp, the sky is clear, and you're just taking a little stroll. Outside, it could be just around the block in your neighborhood, in a park, just sitting outside maybe in, with a, a little fireplace. Imagine that evening, that the, the, the planet is creating enough light, or in this case, it'd be the sun creating enough, or the moon creating enough light, just so you can see um, and then I'm going to glue all of these little golden stars into the background of the two different sizes all over the place. I'm going to cut some of them in half so that you have that continuous background that I mentioned earlier. And she is just strolling bravely with no fear. This is life the way it should be. This is awesome. This is beautiful. And I really wish everyone can experience such such a feeling and um, if you have you you know what i mean it, there's there's things about being a morning person and a night person but you know what they both have their moments and um what i'm describing for the night is definitely one of the biggest perks um and i love that part of the night and so that's what inspired this card for card number 10, I am going to get messy with my inks. I think this is Broken China. Um, <laughs> and I, am, I really make it. I know I'm covering most of it, so I wasn't worried, but it, it really didn't work out. Um, and so I pull out an oxide ink a little bit later, you'll see. <laughs> I think it's called Tumble Glass. But I knew I was covering most of it, so I wasn't worried about how chunky it looked. But when I laid my colors down, it still didn't look right. You can still see it above, so I will fix that. But I took three pieces of leftover pattern paper 
from previous cards that I thought looked really nice staggered. Oh, there we go. I, I got my tumble glass. I'm going to try to fix it. And you'll also notice I'm trying to do this without a piece of paper underneath. And of course, it's not working because I'm being too cautious. So in a second, I'll, I'll grab a piece of lined paper and then I'll fix it. There we go. Now, now I'm actually getting the color spread appropriately. Kind of covering that heavy broken china uh, and just smoothing that out. So that, that's making a better transition. It's still a little bit chunky, but I'm going to add a bunch of little things on there, so it's not going to be too bad. So like I said, these are the three pieces that look really cute together. I, I love how it... It's hard to see when they're such big pieces, but when I trim it down, you'll see what I mean. It's just really cute. Um, with these, I love the, the, the soft pink in the background, the darker in the middle, and then the white on the top. It's just really cute. I'm just going to slightly glue some of those pieces so that I can pick it up and keep its position. And then I'll just double side tape that down, put it to an angle, and then I'll get my shears and chop that off. This is my favorite part. Just chop that right off, and then you get to see what it looks like, and it's always so much better. Look at that. That is adorable. Um, now you can do so much with this. That's so cute. I love this. Um, you can use any colors that you want, but these ones look really nice. Just It's just like a dream, right? Anything is possible and anything can be done. There's no right and wrong. I wanted to use this Limeade stand. I've been eyeing it up the whole time I was creating this kit and, and also the clouds of the rainbow or the rainbow or rainbow raindrops. There we go. I've been eyeing them the whole time and I said, you know what, card 10, I am going to use them Unfortunately, now I got to use them. I got oops, sorry. I got to use them in both of my or both on one card because I waited so long. But uh, that's what I did, and it's a fun card. It it doesn't make any sense um, with the raindrops and the lemonade stand, but that's what I love, love, love about Spellbinders card kits. It doesn't need to make sense. All it is, you know what? If you make a card that's so crazy and you give it to someone and they laugh, job well done, hand clap, congratulations, you should be proud. That's the, the whole that's the whole point, right? It doesn't need to make sense. Have fun, play with it, create wacky, fun designs. You don't need to be some perfectly orchestrated, realistic card. You don't need to. You can. But you don't need to. And that's what I love. I can be really spontaneous and just, just, oh, let my brain, just let my imagination soar. I'm going to change it up because Dream, Dream, Dream was what inspired the card in the first place. I used that as a, my excuse to why there's so many weird things. But I actually like the love who you are more. I think that's, that was speaking to me more. I think that's what I, I need to hear more of um, these days. And so it also looked sharp looked a lot better on this card than the purple. I, I think the Dream 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 was getting hidden because it's smaller. And uh, so I just swapped it up, added a little bit of vintage photo onto everything. And um, now I'm just starting to glue everything down. And I just love how you can see all these different layers um, on there. Really like it. Chop off anything that is overhanging. And then I'm going to tape this down to my, my card base. Sometimes I add a piece to the center, sometimes I don't. It really depends on how I feel at any given point in time. I just now actually don't think you really need one in the center. I think this tape is pretty strong, but never uh, better safer. Sorry. Okay, now I'm going to start propping up that little sentiment, love who you are, and then I'm going to try that strawberry. I'm not going to use it. It doesn't really go well. And then I'm going to add the cloud or it, and it's just raining and just just so that everyone knows it's a happy cloud i'm going to take a little micron pen and i'm going to draw the smallest little smiley face on that <laughs> sorry it's so silly it's so silly it really is it's no purpose but there we go now i'm just going to add my signature sparkle dots um, these ones are not the gold from the kit this is just my gold for my stash um, I have so much of it, and I'm just, I just keep adding it. I just love it. And I said in other videos, I just like to add it sporadically on the card as if it's bursting. It's just 
my way of, of it's just my style and I really like doing that way. And that's card number 10. There actually was a different fifth card I was creating and I was having a lot of fun creating it but I decided that it was going to take a little too much time. Um, when it comes to creating 10 cards, it's very hard to keep the time down and when I do something a little more intense, I want to show all my steps but um, I, I just don't have, I just, there's no time for it. This video would be over an hour or so. But what it was, was I created all these using the die cut in the card kit and I cut one for each color except for the dark blue. And I really liked it and I did this before I started any card creation and I usually do this with all the dies because when it comes time to create the cards I may pull it in. I also did it with the paint brushes as well. I used one of them, I used the yellow, but I actually created one for every color as well. So this had given me an idea, of course, a rainbow. And I decided to play around with some watercolors, but I decided it was just going to take too much time. But I'm going to show you anyways, just quickly, what the idea was. This is my mock-up. Um, when I'm playing with watercolors, I do a mock-up. And as you can see, I made a mistake and stuff. But this is what I was kind of hoping for. Um, and I tried using a little stamp, but that didn't work. It was too, not thick enough. But ideally what I was wanting to do was create a card where I can use these beautiful colors um, with some ink and this this card actually was something that was on my mind and I and as you may know I always like to create what's on my mind uh, I don't like to go against it and this visually came into my head and I really wanted to make it but for this video, I'm not going to do it. I might do it on the side and add it to my Instagram um, and, and polish it up. But pretty much what it was, was it's just the colors of these little, I think they're either um, acrylic or oil uh, paints. And they're pouring out and they're just creating the, this beautiful earth um, or planet. In this case, I don't think this is earth, but let's pretend it is. It's not the right continents. Um, but it, it, I really liked it. And I'm gonna throw it up a little bit, but that's kind of the idea. And I just really love that. You have this nice yellow aura, and I would clean it all up, but I just really like it when an idea comes in my head and I try to actually do it. Um, of course, when I was going to make the card, I was gonna replace that with some type of sentiment because the inks are too dark for stamping. I knew it was going to be something like this. But I was really happy with how it kind of was looking that I wanted to share that with you. Um, so that's it for that. <laughs> okay, and um, this is just a scene of me unplugging my camera and getting ready. And you can see where all the pieces were. I do hope you enjoyed this, um, my little explanation of what my alternative fifth card was. I thought that was kind of fun, so I added that to this video. Um, and now I'm just going to show you all my cards that I created. I had a lot of fun with this kit. It was extremely challenging for me. I, I, I don't know if I say this every video, I feel like I do, but all those small little pieces, really challenging. But you know what? I had a lot of fun and I, I think all these cards turned out really well. I'm, I'm actually really happy with how they, they turned out. Um, so I do hope this has created some inspiration for you. Um, so if you do have this kit that you can get that kit out and start creating some cards. I know September has already come around. August is definitely long since gone, but maybe you didn't start your kit. <laughs> if, if not, even if you did and you have scraps over, I hope this has helped you maybe think of new card ideas or just, just Go crazy. Just, you know what? Sit down and let your imagination soar. Soar, not soar. Soar. And create whatever. If you've already made all of your cards, this is a perfect time to quote unquote waste and just see what you can create. Do some wacky cards. You know what? How about this? You send me a link in the comments below on your wacky cards, it can be a link to any of your blogs or anything, and I'll check it out. Um, 
definitely would love to see people using their imagination with these kits just to see what fun they can create. Um, I would love to see it. So thank you so much for joining me. Until the next time, I hope you all have a wonderful day and take care. Bye.